So I'm starting to think about lapping the bores on the cylinder. I did consider making an expandable copper lap, but that's quite a few hours work uh, for a tool that might only ever be used on this particular job. So I've had a rummage around to see if there's anything I could find that maybe I could use. So I came across this uh, one inch dominant wall plastic pipe. It's quite a thick wall and the OD is slightly bigger than the uh, diameter of the cylinder. So I could turn this down to fit the cylinder and I could slit it and make it into an expandable lap. It's worth a try anyway. So I need to find something suitable to expand the lap and I did find a one inch uh, diameter spring but this is quite a heavy gauge so I think it's probably too too heavy. Um, a lighter spring would have been ideal but I also have some uh, felt material. Uh, this is very stiff so I could cut a bit off and I could roll it up inside and uh, give it some expansion and uh, see how it goes. It's worth a try anyway. The important thing about a lap is that the, uh, the lap itself must be a softer material than the material you're trying to lap so that the uh, lapping compound will embed in the soft material uh, and cut the uh, component and not actually embed in the component. So plastic is obviously a lot softer than cast iron. It's possibly not the most ideal material but it, it's a one-off job so again it's worth a try we'll see how it goes So I'm using some fine lapping compound, it uh, doesn't say what grade it is, whatever 500 GM means I don't know. So it's a carborundum compound I would think. WD-40 on. See if we can get the stamper. Yeah, it's actually quite tight that.
turn it around. But first of all, I think we need to take this back a bit further. Right, I've got a light shining behind it. Can you tell which has been lapped and which hasn't? That's before. That's after. And that's absolutely fantastically smooth. Very happy with that. And it didn't take too long either. Okay, I've got this uh, bow gauge that I can use to check the bows. I can't actually measure the diameter of the bows with this unless this is calibrated. So you normally calibrate this against a, a reference, so like a calibration ring or something. But I'm not interested in actually taking a measurement, I'm just actually interested in making a comparison along the length of the bow to make sure it's uh, parallel. It's nearly half a fell under the zero mark there. It's about the same. about the same that's just under the one foul mark about zero 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 Maybe four tenths of a thou. Zero. 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 Slightly under zero. It's no, that's pretty much zero. So I think that's pretty good. Seems it's slightly bell mouthed at the bottom there by maybe less than half a fell, maybe slightly uh, bell mouthed at the top a few tenths but you're talking for only like six millimeters in other than that it seems pretty much parallel overall I think I'm pretty happy with that thanks for watching see you next time